Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Armageddon Empires with me, your host Tim. And let's pick up with another Machine Empire deck. Let's go ahead and pick the same deck we used before to try it out one more time. So that's a 225 and 10 point level with a large map, and we're going to select the Dead Walkers again. Now, I made a slight alteration here in that I dropped a Terminus for another lab. I only had two labs, and I really should have had three. Let me move my mic. Okay. So, hopefully this will fix that problem. That I, The whole game I was struggling for a lab. Of course, you know, the deck gets shuffled, you draw your cards randomly. They could all be on the bottom of the deck, but hopefully they're not. Also, I thought I had three Colossus. I only have two. So, I have to remember that. The deck is heavy on infantry, not on powerful walkers. So once again, we're going to choose two random opponents. I'm still testing the deck. I'm not quite sure what I think of it yet. Let's start the game. Fighting the mutants and humans this time. Okay. This is a bit more interesting. The humans might give me trouble because the needlers won't work on walkers or tanks that they possess. Which direction am I going in? I am already slightly skewed to the left of the screen. Let's continue that, then. my starting base here. Okay. I kind of like being in the corner because it means I hopefully won't encounter one of the enemies quickly. Especially with the machines, I really want to wait because I need several turns. I need like to turn eight so I'm fully functioning with what, I, what you see me, with what tiles I've already deployed. Oh my god, I can't talk tonight. Alright, so let's get our machine citadel here. And we're good to go. As usual, we'll examine our starting hand, and then look at the map, and we'll see if we can make the best of whatever the situation is. Okay. So, dice. Going first. Awesome. Let's see, if, let's see what we got. We have a hero. She's not a combat hero, though, but I don't mind having her. She can also scout around for us, so we don't walk into the mines. We have an industrial pod. That'll be really handy. A terminus. I don't like seeing one of those so early. Two weak units, and a strong unit. We also have an academy right away. Oh! Okay. Again, I, I think we are in this situation before. I could wait four turns to deploy the academy, or four turns to deploy Dioblica, and then build a materials node. Turn five, she would enter play. Six, a debris field. As opposed to turn... Oh, uh, we'll do what we did last time, maybe. I, I, I plan right now on, on deploying the conflict node to harvest this material resource. Let's look at the map now. Oh, no. This is all open, wide desert. Except up in there. Wow, just all empty desert. You will probably lose this game. Because I can't get any of my units into play quickly. The enemy will probably just waltz down and claim my starting hex. Because I'm going to have to wait till at least like turn 8 before I get a unit out in play. But let's make the best of it. Let's go ahead and start. So. We should make some armies. So let's do it. We go, we'll make a spider bot recon one. We shall make a Epsilon Guardian protocol. And echelon. Oh. I 
Alliance defense system. Nice. Hit him first. Okay, so... So if I, if I deploy... You know what? If I deploy Diablica, I can then get her scouting for the one or two turns she has, and I might find some more resources. So I'm not going to deploy... Oh, the conflict that would save me two materials for one turn. They're both good choices. The resources, if I find anything special, might be materials that I can use to help me... Personally. We, will, we will deploy her instead. Add her to her own group. Stealth her and start moving her around a bit. Worst case scenario, nothing happens. And we we're no really worse off than we were to begin with. A little bit more inefficient. Well, the good news is that we didn't find anything back here. Uh, the bad news is we didn't find anything back there. Uh, we didn't, uh, let's make one more army. Spider bot. Actually, let's make... Might as well make all the armies now. Okay. One, two, three. So we didn't find it. Wow, we didn't find anything there. Okay. But I'm glad to have done that now. Now, where is she? Should we have. Oh, we have to de stealth her. And then. She can make us a materials team. And then re stealth her and end our turn. humans next, because that will allow me to deploy some quick, easy troops. In two turns. Because I can't use the, the humans for anything else. I have to decelerate from the screen. Okay. The next turn we can deploy to advanced cyborg, and we'll have some defense. And then we're going to be using her as a, our scout. Wow, we got to go first again. I don't like the humans are already spending so many resources. This is incredibly bad. This means that they've gotten some sort of source of resources, which is terrible for me. Oh, we have supply to the city. That's wonderful. But now we need now we need a hero. Okay, spider bots. Let's start some actual recon. Cool. More science. Big attack. These are a weak troop. I'm still gonna pop in there if I can with Dialuga to take us piece of what's actually in there. Mortificus, great. We actually need a general. Industrial pod, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should. I really, really should. So we will. Let's draw a card. And end our turn. That means two more turns waiting, because I need the energy. Would 
fight for materials. That's totally worth fighting for as the machines. So we will do that. But right now, I have nothing I want to deploy. Oh, actually, we can deploy another advanced cyborgs. That won't cut into my resources, because they require no energy to deploy. Wow, we get to go first, awesome. So let's get that industrial pod out. And then we can use Diopliga again and have her... A leopard. We can't let it get to us. We're gonna need to deal with it quickly. And of course, here comes trouble. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to kill it because it's got well, it has two defense dice only. I'm gonna go after it right now with something because I need to stop them from reaching my base and knowing where I am right away. Especially the mutants. Tons of resources, so they must be after me now. Let's get Mortificus out. Or, oh. Yeah, I will want him out. We're gonna need a general anyway. Let's beat this guy back. They probably won't kill him. Ooh, nice. He, he's hurt, though. Nope, one hit point left. Oh, he moved over someplace else. Alright, let's use him. One, two. Oh, hello! I really want that. Doesn't figure both of them immediately head to my direction instead of each other's direction. So what are we doing? The good news is that both of them are out of supply. The bad news is the, the mutants are going to end up coming right down here very quickly. And there is almost nothing I can do about that. Oh nice, this will be... that would be useful to deploy in the rock desert. Because that will actually collect that energy and tech. With that in mind, I'm tempted to drop it. Well, no. Let's just end our turn. Wow, nice. I like this is I'm not used to this. Okay. Biopica can make us some more technology. Re stealth. And we can move her. Actually, let's see if we can find out where they are. Did they, they they get away? They're away. They're still out of supply, but so will We'll be out of supply, too, if we try to chase them, so that's not going to work out for us. So... We don't have the materials to... deploy a Styx. Let's move Thalmix's defense system back to our base. I don't like leaving the spider bots where they are, but I don't really have a choice. I don't want to deploy Mizra, because I want that... I want the... Materials for something a little more powerful. I'm 
I'm so nervous with my early spider bots because I really don't want to lose them. Oh, what am I doing? I, I can't. I can't just. I can't take that place. I can't take that place. That place has got powerful units in it. Nice defense system. We'll now get beefier. And that's good. I could de-stealth and build a resource collector here, but then I can't re-stealth her. I'm a little nervous about that, so I'm not going to do that. I really need that energy team. Okay, the recon bot's actually going to move into the craters, and we'll probably leave him there this, most of the game, assuming he's not destroyed, so I can scout what might be coming around here. Next, let's get a Scourge Platoon into Phalanx Defense System. I'm pretty happy with this. We can use that to attack the abandoned town. We might lose some cyborgs, but so be it. And with my leftover points, I think I'm done. I really want that space. Okay, and that will do it. Wow, we have a nice line here. We'll see the humans coming before they arrive. Because they're going to claim one of these resource nodes. The only bad news is that they're going to chew through my entire supply line here. I don't mind so much. It's not at the moment. I can probably afford to bid one point each round. Okay, so now... Do I want a conflict node to increase my cyborgs? I do. I do. I think it's very important to have your starting cyborgs get some additional hit points. out of my base until I have some extra defense in there, so we're going to be waiting at least one more round. Okay. So, I don't know where they are. Let's move the spots, two spots, spots, one, two, three, four. Oh, I think I can move into the abandoned town, we'll just observe them. Okay, yeah, that would be a piece of cake for our current army. How many materials we get each round? Three? That'll give me seven. That will be enough to deploy a stick, so let's get another advanced cyborg to the play then. Now with that in mind, I'm gonna take a risk. If we lose this early game, like it's not Uh, I really shouldn't say that. Oh, actually, we can't take a risk this turn anyway. We're out, we're out of points. I actually would like to go first, if I can. I'm going to try to bid for it. Ooh, that's a bad roll. And we didn't get the AP we needed, so we can't deploy the sticks. That said, let's just move the Optophonics Defense System, then. Spider Bot Recon. We'll stay there. Leftover resources. I would like a lab in here too, but I don't know if I'll get that chance. Oh, we can upgrade the industrial pod. Oh, okay. It just ups its hit points, not the resource it gathers. Okay. Well, hey, I haven't done that like ever. 
like to go first. Let's see if we can take it. Yes, not bad. Okay. We can not deploy a sticks. We need one of them pretty badly for some good defense at our base. Then, we can, oh, we've done enough points to move them. Okay, that's fine. Let's move to her. See, I'm really nervous about just moving her out here, because in the beginning of the game especially, there's lots of scouts, like, running all over, all over the place. I do not want to just lose something instantly. Okay, we've, we've scouted all my supplied areas except for those two hexes. Let's end our turn. Please don't kill my spider bots. Oh, hello! Where'd you come from? Oh, you must have come down here, and now, you, and now you've seen us. Great. You're gonna spend a lot of points to get him out of there. I'm not gonna... Oh, I'm gonna go before him, though. I hate this, because I need to deal with that. That's the only human resource I have. Well, we should be shocked it, at least. That's good. Can we kill it? Oh, we, we might not do this. We might not do it. Alright. Alright. Victory. Can you make the humans again? get here? He must have came up and around and down. Well, no, he could come. He could come this way. All right, I'm not gonna bother trying to beat the human player. Oh, he's not even trying. Okay. Once again, fast defense system can move here. Get some prep done and get ready to deploy the intelligence node. I could use those AP actually more than I could use the lab. Oh, yeah. So let's get let's get the intelligence node down and upgraded to be sniffer and three AP rounds. Now I don't care. If I get first first, first that's awesome. But if not, I won't mind. Okay, so let's take out the abandoned town for those materials. Now, this is good. I just need to shock attack those raiders if I can, because they're going to get four attack dice. Ooh. I'm going to try to just end them if I can. We should probably lower their... Oh. We probably should lower their defense rating with each of these attacks by one point. Or did we? I don't actually know. Wow, good hit on there. Good dodge by me. And done. By the way, this is an awesome looking picture. <laughs> Get out of my face. Awesome picture. Alright, the shock attack first, because if we don't kill him, we'll at the very least shock him. I can't but think that licking your... licking a blade probably isn't the best thing for you. You get tetanus. Probably a bad idea. Oh, good defense on his part. Well done. Well done. Oop, not as good a defense. We actually killed that one. That's what you get. Busy tasting your blade. Look at this guy. Also blocking bullets with his axe. Good for him. Oh, but he couldn't do it twice in a row. That's what you get. That's what you get. Alright, now we will build a materials team. And we're getting a lot of resources. This is wonderful.
Wow, six successes. Eat it, humans. I should deploy that other sticks while they have the AP. I really should get that into an army. Now the defense system can't make it back to base, so we're just going to end up deploying it. Let's deploy Infernicus. Just get him into play. And he actually is a tactician, so we could... So let's do these two things. Let's get some more hit points for other advanced cyborgs. And then we're actually going to use Tactician. Let's see if we get lucky. Minus five things. Minus five fate points. Uh, take that, humans. I didn't care about you going first. All your, all your tons of resources, probably because you have this town and whatever the heck this is, and this is probably your starting point. I bet that's what it is. Oh, he probably has all sorts of horrible tanks and walkers out already. Okay, everyone. We're going to stop here before I start playing in this again. So, turn 25. So, so far, we've got resources coming in at a reasonable rate. In fact, I'm deploying cards faster than I can get rid of them. This is a good thing. I'm going to want to get the Nexus up in this rock desert so I can start collecting more stuff there. Yeah, that's, for, that's probably for the best. I might not be able to hold that spot for a little bit, though. We'll probably just end up moving Tonic's defense system up into the rock desert. And then we'll draw cards. Probably for the rest of my turn. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, everyone. Alright, so thank you for watching. We pick back up. We'll keep this. We'll see what happens to us. And I will see you then. Take care.